Hello everyone, welcome to deck building, because I had to separate them, because there was a big gap. This is Anomalous Zero, you can see me on Anomalous Zero at twitch.tv slash Anomalous Zero, YouTube at Magic Gathering Strat, or Vincent Cibola, and mtgostrat.com. I am just going to get a picture or a something, and I'm going to just put that on the, on the screen next time. Put those in here, these here, that there, okay. So I have like, I don't think I want that. Well, maybe I do. I have a whole bunch of competing stuff happening. Forget to put them down? I'd, I'd say just pull them all down? What? I don't know what you mean. I still don't know what you mean, but all right. Oh, yeah. So just making easy cuts right now. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm emphasizing, yeah, I know if you use the deck editor and you double click, it goes to your collection and not the sideboard, because... Yes, I am. I have been playing Magic Online since Time Spiral. I'm aware of how Magic Online works. Thank you for helping, though. I just yeah. I don't know. I'm like I'm not gonna forget, but I might just like do it anyways because that's how it works in other places. So I'm thinking Enclave Cryptologist is too slow for this deck. I have Thieving Magpie. Horsemanship Thieving Magpie. Yes, I, again, I know how Magic Online works. It would be a force of habit, not forgetting. Yeah. Like, I don't know about a lot of these one-drops. Do I want to be... I have to make a lot of cuts. Definitely want this looter. I don't... I think the mask is too slow. It's really good though, actually. I've never played with it. <laughs> but... Char? Yeah, Char's probably not worth anything. Yeah. yeah, I guess I don't really need Grizzled Fate. Frantic search. I think I'm just like a creature deck. I, I, I'm okay with the looters and the strict up Ophidians, but. So, courage, right, but like the walls aren't really great in my deck. I think I wouldn't cut the wall of roots though, but the wall of blossoms I don't think I want. Yeah, well, it's not unblockable. My dude could block it. <laughs> the Silvok life stuff? I don't know. It's, like, better in the mirror? I think... Yeah. Like, it's good in a creature mirror when creatures are trading. It just draws a card, though. Like, I'd rather have Silvok life staff instead of... 
Oh, a decent cut. Okay, yes. Then I agree entirely. Still have to cut three cards. Oh, I'm not sure about the Stomp Howler. It's just... Like, it's a good sideboard card, but I have... I got stuff already. And, like, Dryad Militant isn't even all that great. I don't mind the Twin Blade Slasher, because it has Root Walla abilities and Wither. And the Land War Elves is obviously just a mana ramp. But the Dryad Militant is just a 2-1. It is, yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah, I've got I've got main deck predator, which I'm not cutting. And like I have like um the vigilante and the howler if I need to. Grim Poppet seems a little weird, but I should probably play some removal in my deck. It's a 4-4 four, four for 7 that puts 3 minus 1 minus 1 counters on stuff when it comes into play. Basically. Basically, yeah, 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 it is. And I still don't know if I want to run the Behemoth Sledge, the Chrome Coast. Like, I could cut, like, the Grim Poppet and the Sakura Tribe Elder and run Behemoth Sledge. Thought Courier is just a looter. Draw a card, discard a card. It's a Merfolk looter. And then I can run Sea Chrome Coast, a bunch of islands, a bunch of one planes, a bunch of islands. Unless you see a cut for like these. Or I could run just straight blue green with like the Tribe Elder and the Grim Poppet. I think that's what I'm down to now. Cut Elder, which fixes for a card you need fix for? Again, I have a lot of card draw and a looter and two looters, so I'm not really worried. Like, this, a Seacrum Coast plus a Plains, even without the looter, is already three sources of white for one card. That's pretty good. Yeah, but like, what do I cut? If yeah, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I want to run this. So yeah, I I, do, I agree too. Like, I have some dingy creatures that. So the sledge is good, and then the question is, is there anything I want to cut for the Sakura Tribe Elder? The only reason I have the Dawn Treader Elk in is because it's a 2-2 on its own, which is better if I don't want if I don't need to sack it. I could cut the Twin Blade Slasher. It's not that great, or yeah. Don't really want to cut the Wall of Roots. Well, Wall of Roots isn't really that good in my deck. It doesn't attack, and it only fixes for green, 
And I really have a lot of double blue at four, so it's not really like it's going to help me cast any of these four things. Yeah, I know Slasher is good, but I ha like if I want to play the Elder, I'm not playing 41. Jason, um... Paper Dinosaur... Yeah. I think cut wall for Sakura Tribe Elder and just... That looks like a... Wait, no, that's still 24. Or 23. What did I... Did I, did I add something back that I missed? Oh, it was the Grim Poppet. So should I run Tribe Elder instead of Grim Poppet? I don't actually need to read... Like, yeah... Yeah. Like, it's got a lot of value, it's got some finishers, it's got an overrun, it has a behemoth sledge, and it's got, like, tokens and stuff. And go 24 for spells? That way I don't flood. I already have flood protection, though. I have Thought Courier and... In, in, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I'm okay. The tokens aren't really that good in this deck, except to hold the Behemoth Ledger for Overrun, but I think that's alright. Alright, so suggest... Oh, right, because it's 60. Because, yeah, nice interface. Beast Within's for the sideboard. I don't... Like, what am I cutting for Beast Within? I didn't really see anything that I needed to Beast Within. I guess the reanimation spells, but... Yeah. It's okay, like... I'm, I'm like I have a whole bunch of good guards in my sideboard. I'm not disagreeing, but yeah, you have to cut something to play one of them. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not. Don't worry about that. I'm just trying to figure out what my mana is gonna look like. It's blue, blue, white. So definitely one there. And that leaves me with 17 lands. There's 16, which is 8-8, eight, eight, so probably like 9, 6, it's coast? Is that 17? And then, because I have the Dawn Treader Elk, and didn't I put the Sakura Tribe Elder in here? Where'd it go? Oh, the Sakura Tribe Elder, that's actually... Nine. Nine. Three. Right? Nine, nine, four. So that should be okay. It's a little awkward for my four drops to cost double blue, but... I don't know if I can go down to eight, because I need green for all these cards and my fixers, so... And so let's just save as local deck cube. And before I go any further, let me just add like a whole bunch of basics because you can't sideboard lands in in a freeform game. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to need any swamps. I'm not splashing Exhum. Uh, I might need, like, 
five planes, five of those. I'm not splashing smash the smithereens. So let's just add those to the sideboard and hit save. Finger, isn't that you, Jason? All right, so this is the deck, everyone. I am assuming it's going to be three rounds of Swiss for the game. Uh, hopefully it's done before 8 o'clock because I have to run a tournament then. Well, that was for the YouTube people.